This video provides a short demo of how to set up a video conference meeting via link using a Polycom Roundtable unit. The Polycom Roundtable device is a 360 degree camera designed for rich and integrated link experience. It is an effective tool for enhanced collaboration across teams and projects. It offers a comprehensive video conferencing solution which extends face-to-face -face collaboration from boardrooms to desktops, tablets and smartphones. It is therefore a useful tool for those who frequently collaborate with colleagues across campuses, partner organisations and also for staff who work remotely, either off-site or from home. The Polycom unit is available to all staff at the University of Exeter. It is suitable for large group meetings whereby several individual far-site participants can hear and see a large group of people at the near site but also maintaining a one-to-one -one video call experience for everyone. Firstly, check that the cables are connected properly on the back of the processor box and on the underside of the camera and audio stand. Ensure the camera cap is in the down position and then turn the power on at the wall. Wait for the touch screen display to show the main menu and for the green microphone lights to stop flashing. This should take no longer than a couple of minutes. During this time, Open Microsoft Link on your PC or laptop and sign in. When the camera and your PC are ready, plug the blue USB cable into both devices and then raise the camera cap into the up position until it clicks. To check that the camera has installed and is working correctly, select the COG icon in Microsoft Link. This will take you to the settings window. Select video device and ensure that Polycom Active Speaker is selected from the drop down box and that you have a video preview. Next, select the audio device settings. Again, ensure that the Polycom Roundtable is selected from the drop-down box, but also that you are getting audio levels, represented by a blue bar that moves as you speak. When this is all set correctly, click OK. Now, select a contact from your contacts list and double-click their name to open a chat window. Select Start a video call from the Video tab and wait for the far side contact to accept the call. When they have accepted the call, select the full screen button in the top right hand corner of the video window. Here you can see the panoramic video at the bottom of the screen and your active speaker window just above to the right. Whenever someone speaks at the near site, the active speaker window will show that person. It does this by focusing on the area of the panoramic video that that voice is coming from. This means that many individual Farsight participants can see and hear a large group of people at the near site, but maintains a one-to-one -one video call experience for everyone. When you have finished your meeting, minimize the window and end the call. For more help and support using LINK, please go to the University of Exeter LINK webpages.